Right, I'm out giving the dog a quick walk, but um, what we're going to do today is we're going to be doing a little bit of work in the workshop, but most of it will be down in the woodshed, which is always quite pleasurable in weather like this. Um, he's tangled me up. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be cutting the copper end caps, uh, getting them ready so I can use them as a guide for when I'm shaping the ends of the staff. So I'm going to be debarking the staff, I'm going to be shaping the ends and shaping out any wood that I don't want on the actual shaft and possibly taking out the old little curve here and there by just taking away wood and leaving wood on the opposite side which is something that um, most stick makers know that little trick but um, yeah so basically it's going to be getting the copper end caps done debarking sanding the wood shaping the wood getting the end caps to fit on the actual shaft and um, yeah it's going to be quite nice down in in the, in the woodshed doing that so i'm going to get this done and then we'll crack straight into this job right then cup of tea before you start any job so this is a raw product i'm going to start with and i'm going to make my um, end caps out of it and I'm thinking just off my head, possibly a four inch for the top, where the, which will meet the deer antler, and a five inch on the bottom for the uh, uh, bottom of the shaft. The requirement is to have a rubber end cap placed over it, um, quite simply because I think it's going to be used in some like town hall buildings which might have nice floors, but it will give it a nice little bit of weight when he thumps it on the floor to draw attention before he starts shouting and doing his town crier thing that um you know there's a bit of weight to give a bit of a thump there so yeah um let's make this happen let's turn this into some end caps so uh yeah come along with me Right, we've got the actual uh, end caps for the staff and uh, they're looking really nice, really gorgeous actually, they've polished up really well. So it's now actually time to start working on some wood. So from here in the workshop, let's make our way down to the woodshed. So when you straighten wood, um, it's always good to leave it for 24 hours to settle because sometimes wood will spring back out or it won't take a full set um, that doesn't happen very often but it does happen so if you straighten a piece and you invest a lot of time and energy into working that piece of wood and then come back the next day into the workshop and it's uh, transformed back into its original shape it could be rather upsetting so just give the wood a chance to settle and if you do get any pullback where it springs back 
even fraction to its original shape it gives you a chance to re-straighten it but the piece of wood that i'm looking at here it's held it set overnight and um yeah it's pretty much when it's after 24 hours there's going to be very little chance of it moving back but let's just have a quick little look so there you go still lovely and straight i will be losing this little bit here that'll be discarded so that little hook or pistol grip type uh, situation there it wasn't worth straightening out but we don't need that so that's not a problem but let's start debarking this one and uh, start making some progress here's the uh, tools i'm going to be using to create the staff and it's um, a pretty basic set of woodworking tools and items so as i've said i can't put it off no longer i'm gonna have to start working some wood and the first thing to do is cut it off there
Right, you can see I've pretty much got the initial first stage of sanding done there. It's pretty much shaped. I should be able to get a compression fit um, copper tip on that. And uh, I've just got to double check that and perhaps to size it down with a bit of hand sanding. All the way up to the peg. Obviously what's happening is the copper sleeve is going over and the deer antler will sit on top of this. I'm going to use a, the threaded bore method um, to actually attach the antler. You'll see that as we go. But now I'm moving on to the first grade of hand sanding. Right, I'm getting uh, ready to put the copper onto the shaft. That'll be it for the day. But it's going to be a tricky operation because I'm using epoxy to lubricate the copper back over the wood and also to take up any voids inside the copper just to give a stronger bond. Um, so this filming this could be quite difficult, but we'll give it a go. Um, I've actually got the uh, staff all protected so I don't get too much of the uh, epoxy on the wood because obviously I've sanded it but I'll probably have to do another finishing sand anyway but yeah this is going to be difficult
Well, there's nothing I can do now. Both ends have been resined and compression fitted to the actual stick. It's now for me just to let everything go off and spend probably half hour cleaning up and sanding back and polishing everything back up because obviously I've got mess everywhere. So basically till till tomorrow I can't do nothing else. But obviously clean up this whirlwind of a mess and let that go off. So uh, that's the end of this episode and I suppose the next one really is as I've just alluded to it's a clean up of the actual shaft and get all that looking nice again and then it's to attach the deer antler so that will be the next uh, installment attaching the deer antler so uh, till then take care stay safe and um, I think I'm gonna have a cup of coffee before I clean up anything catch you later cheers